it's me, Jade, and today I'm here with my lovely friend, Saya. <laughs> but first things first, I wanted to talk about Valentine's Day. So as I mentioned in my other video, Valentine's Day is when girls give the guys chocolate. So Saya, did you give chocolate to guys every year? Not every year, but many years, and I gave you quite a lot. Yeah. Especially when I had somebody I liked. So for example, so in elementary school, I gave like four Tomo Choco and one Homemade Choco. Oh really? Yeah. And so did the guys know? I was quite shy, so I, I told like Tomo Choco, Tomo Choco, Giri Choco, Tomo Choco, and to the person I liked, I didn't say anything. Wait, but you announce the type of chocolate you're giving when you give it to the guy. You say to your friend, ah, uh, this is Tomo Choco. Yeah. Really? Well, like, it's just like, Interesting. I, just, I just, just don't want to expect anything. Right. If they just take it seriously and just give me something really good, I'll feel bad. I so. see. So you make your feelings clear, yeah. except to the person that you really like. Yes. But I had a heartbroken experience. The guy who I liked didn't give me back anything. Oh, no. But all the other Tomochoko came back. Oh. <laughs> How old were you when that happened? Well, I was 10. Oh, baby Saya! <laughs> So, as we've already discussed, Valentine's Day, the girls give the guys chocolate. And White Day, which is one month later on March 14th, the guys return the favour. My sweetest White Day's experience was with my actual first boyfriend. Oh. And I was 20 years old. It was my first boyfriend, so I really took care of it. I made my truffle by myself. Wow. Or Truffles sound really difficult it to was make. difficult for me. Yeah. Probably if you get used to it, it's not that difficult, but anyway, I made it and I gave yeah. it to him. Uh -huh. Then, he was really happy, mm -hmm. but he was not really a popular boy. Uh, I see. Partly, so <laughs> he was really happy to receive this Valentine's Day, and one day, uh -huh. he tried to make a cake by himself. Oh, that was wow. so sweet. That was my sweetest memory. I shouldn't have break up with him. <laughs> <laughs> so, how? And when did White Day start? えっと、1970年代に石村万世堂というお菓子屋さんがホワイトデーを始めました Ah, why? えっと、なんでだっけ? <laughs> so what I read <laughs> is that one of the executives that worked at this sweets company read a letter in a women's magazine and the woman was complaining about how only the guys get chocolate and exactly. she wants something back, exactly. right? Oh, there. Unfair, this show. One of the things she was saying was like, a handkerchief, some candy, even marshmallows, anything is fine. So because of that, Because it's a month after Valentine's Day. Exactly. And apparently he asked all the girls at the company to decide a day. Which is nice. Women, we chose this one. So why did the name turn into White Day? Because it was first Marshmallow Day, but they changed it to White Day because white reminds people kind of pureness or sweetness of young Like people. sugar. Yeah. Interesting. But the first name was Marshmallow Day. Yes. Because of that comment, I'm guessing. <laughs> marshmallow Sounds Day. Sounds weird. So originally, <laughs> did guys only give women marshmallows? I have no idea. Maybe they did. Actually, I never got a marshmallow on my white day. Really? Lucky oh. me. Lucky you. <laughs> oh yeah, because as Saya was telling me earlier, yeah. apparently the gifts that you get back from the guys have different meanings. Exactly. Yeah, okay, go on then. Tell us the meanings. Okay, so candy. If you have a candy bag, it means that guy likes you as well. If you have a cookie in return, mm -hmm. it means he's just thinking that you're just a friend. Yeah. If you receive marshmallow, it means that guy hates you. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Why would they call it marshmallow day? <laughs> so if you ever get a marshmallow on white day, True. your feelings are not returned. <laughs> you have a macaron, uh -huh. it means that you are a special person for him. Oh, maybe that's the best thing. Probably, but there are other things, right? What are the <laughs> other things? If you receive a caramel, uh -huh. it means that you make him happy. Oh. But they're all quite similar in meaning then, right? I know. You're a special person, you make me happy. Madeline cake means the guy wants to be closer to you. Oh, That's in nice. like a sexual way or in like an emotional oh way? Oh, it's, it's Japan. I think it's an emotional way. Oh, Japanese yes. guys are pure. Yes, so pure. <laughs> <laughs> and if you receive a bomb kuchen, uh -huh. it means he wants our happiness to last forever. 
So it's basically like a marriage proposal uh, then. You get a lot of burn cookies? No, I never did. Oh. I never did. <laughs> yeah, I was about to ask you, so what have you received in return? So I just got like a expensive cookies. Uh-huh. Well, it was nice in elementary school days mm -hmm. because basically it's the mom who actually prepares for the white day. Right, so you so, get all the really good stuff. Yes, and it's mom. She knows what the girls will think. It was like nice expensive stuff in return. That's great. But what about on Valentine's Day? Did your mum buy you chocolates to give to the guys? When I was in elementary school, I went to my friend's house and we made chocolates together. Oh! Like not making, but we just bought like white chocolate mm -hmm. and we bought those in color. And I, I made blue and red. It almost looks poisoned if I <laughs> just remember now, but I just gave that to my friend and like, my friend's mom actually helped us cooking and she didn't actually make any single comments on which color we pick so we just picked something horrible yeah <laughs> <laughs> and the guy he was a nice nice guy he opened it wow it looks interesting he said <laughs> that's such a japanese response mm, and the next day he was absent from school did he get sick from your chocolate i'm wondering i'm still wondering <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. what percentage would you say of stuff that you gave did you get back well because i don't want to be embarrassed i actually give guys that i feel like i can have some return ah yeah you start thinking about it <laughs> interesting so you didn't give risky chocolate then no unless you really love that so... guy and i was already heartbroken when i was 10 so i never tried myself in the middle school so you didn't give chocolate to anyone in middle school no there was no interesting guys in my school so Speaking of getting stuff back and how many things Saya got back, we looked up a survey of the percentage of guys that return things on white day. And the results were... 78%. Which is quite high. Right? That's more than I'm I was surprised. expecting. Yeah, so apparently 78% of adult men, right? Yeah, adult men return things on white day. However, Saya found another piece of research mm -hmm. from the point of view of women saying the percentage of things they had received mm -hmm. and the answer was 45.8%. So that's quite a big that's discrepancy. Strange. So maybe the guys are like writing down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I gave it back, yeah. But the women are like, no, I remember this shit. <laughs> they definitely did yeah, not give me something for that. back. <laughs> So that's quite funny as well. In Japan we say like if you give something on Valentine's Day, guys should return in three times more. Wow. So for example, if you spend ten pounds, then the guy has to spend thirty pounds on you back? Exactly, yeah. And do people actually do that? I don't think so. Because I think according to our research, mm -hmm. only fourteen percent people agree that three times return should be done, yeah. Huh, interesting. So have you ever received anything three times the amount back? Well, maybe my last boyfriend actually did that, but that was a bit heavy. Yeah? yeah. A bit too much? Well, actually, like, we were about to break up, so that's partly the reason, but I was trying to dump him and I gave him, like, a gichoko. <laughs> and then he took me to an extremely expensive restaurant, which he never took me to. So and... did he expect that you were trying to break up with him and that's why he yeah. tried really hard at the end? Yes, exactly. Oh, that's... I'm kind of sorry, but it was a bit embarrassing. I can imagine. Yeah. Okay. You shouldn't have done it. But that's the only time that you ever received three times the amount back. Kind of. Yeah? Mm. I think Tyler didn't give me back three times more. No. <laughs> Tyler is her fiance. Let's say a message for Tyler here. Tyler! Tyler! Up your game! Get her something great for White Day. I'm waiting for that. <laughs> she has like a baseball bat in hand. I'm waiting <laughs> in case you don't give me anything. I'm waiting in many ways. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much, Saya, for coming onto my channel. It was nice to have a female Japanese perspective. If you like this video, guys, please give it a like. Please leave a comment in the box below. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more things about Japan. And I'll see you again next time. Bye!